Hello, I'm from Barrow Street, and in my last video, I gave you some cave build ideas. So, in this video, I'm going to be giving you the complete opposite. I'm going to give you 5 mountain build ideas in Minecraft 1.18. However, before I begin, if you like videos like this and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing as well as liking that smash button. Thank you, and on to the video. The first mountain build idea I have is a campsite. This is a super simple build that anyone can do very quickly. All you have to do is find a flat area on a mountain, and almost every mountain has some of that, and then just build some tents. I used a mixture of orange blocks for my first tent, and a mixture of light blue blocks for the other tent. And as a scissor campsite, you would also need a campfire with some seating. And so with both of these combined, you get an amazing Minecraft 1.18 mountain campsite. Secondly, an axolotl sanctuary can be an amazing build to have at the base of any Minecraft 1.18 mountain. The way to build this is to have a cave or ravine that is exposed by a mountain and transform it, making it more detailed and similar to the lush caves, which are the home of the axolotls. Then on the entrance of your axolotl sanctuary, build a massive axolotl statue so people can clearly see this is the place for the axolotls. And most importantly, add the axolotls. But this build is a bit borderline between the caves and the mountains. So let's jump straight to the peak of a mountain. And more specifically, the ice spikes. This biome is in my opinion the second coolest biome in the game. Number one is always the jungles. And in the ice spikes, generally there is a mountain inside. So we can use this to create the third build idea, which is a house that is sitting on top of a mountain peak. This sounds super simple, and it really is. But here are some of the features and details of this mountain house that you should know. Number one, it is vital to have a different block palette for the roof, as this makes sure that the build doesn't all blend into one blob of colour from a distance. Personally, for the roof I use calcite, smooth quartz and polished diorite, but you could use the variations of deep slate instead if you wanted to. Secondly, make sure to utilise the terrain. This applies for all builds, but it's even more important for this 1.18 mountain build. For example, I hollowed out one of the ice spikes that went right up next to the mountain house, and I used it as a way to travel between the house and the surface of the world. Thirdly, make sure to have support under the mountain house, as without it, the house can sometimes just look like it is floating. Well, now that you have a house in the mountains, you can look over the amazing views of the Minecraft 1.18 mountains. But there is something that you could add to the nearby peaks that may spark your interest, and that is a lightning rod build. These can be an extremely small build, as all they have to have are lightning rods which are attached to a small copper build. For this copper build, I would use a gradient of copper blocks, going from wax weathered copper at the bottom, to just normal weathered copper at the top, along with the lightning rods. And finally, I have the biggest idea for the Minecraft 1.18 mountains, and that is a massive wither hovering over a jungle mountain shooting wither heads that are on place to destroy the land. This wither is massive, being over 50 blocks wide and over 40 blocks tall. Building it in creative took me over one hour. So if you decide to build this in your Minecraft 1.18 worlds, here are some tips. Number one, make sure that you like where you start building the wither, as moving it can take a very long time without world edit. Number two, before you add any shading to the wither, make sure that you have the base colour complete. This will just make it a lot easier when you're actually adding that extra detail. Three, with the smaller blue wither heads, make sure that the flame from behind leads from one of the wither heads. This just makes it seem like they actually came from the wither, rather than just being spawned into the world. And so, those were my five build ideas for the Minecraft 1.18 mountains. Let me know in the comments down below which one you'll be building. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like that smash button as well as subscribing. Also, watch any of the videos that you see on screen now. I know that you'll enjoy them. And as always, thank you for watching.